This wasn't a scheduled plan video to make for this channel, but I thought I'd make one because I just picked up this. This is a Sylvania Rostra 150 watt street light. I only got this recently, only for 15 20 minutes ago, I only picked this up. There's the bulb for it. It doesn't work just yet because I haven't tried one because I haven't got the photo cell. A local street light firm, whoops, just, just up the road for me replacing the street lights with, from these to LED. Um, we're replacing a whole bunch of these and my mum asked them if I could have one. And they kindly um, said yes. It doesn't go for travel light companies. If you ask the travel light company, you can have an old truck. They say no, but if you ask the street light personnel, they they obliged to say yes and they give you one. It's in very, very good condition. It did have an ant nest in it. Well, it was a surprise. That's what I did outside cleaning it off. I was outside cleaning it all off. I'm going to see if I can bypass the circuit for this photo cell because the photo cell I haven't got. I have to go. I'm going to try and bypass it. Um, Carefully bypass that and wipe it without the photo cell. I'm gonna come back with a short video um, later on on this one. Same video, I'll just, I'll just do a joke and see if I can figure out how to wire that without the photo cell circuit in the line. Now, I've come back, so this wired without the photo cell circuit. I'm hopefully, when I turn the main brake and I've isolated to test this, it won't go bang. I've got the video camera on. Hopefully, it won't go bang. Nope, it didn't go bang. Well, it does function perfectly as I just showed. Um, oh, tonight when it's dark, I'll fire this up in the night and then show you it lighting up full bonus tonight when it's um, pitch black. But it does work, it's good. I've just had it running for a while and it does seem to work for a freebie. It, it, it's, they, it's pretty good condition lamp. Because, um, can someone tell me if this is mercury vapor or high pressure sodium? I don't know which is which. There's a nice lamp though. Because that's that Sylvania I've got now. That's my older Sylvania B2224 I've got. What's up there on the lamp? And it looks great for a street light. I'm going to do their video now, but it's starting up. I'm going to button up an eight, uh, internet mode, but I will um, do this video it's starting up. While that video is running, I'll just see if my modem is up set up. Like I said, I picked this up for free off the um, engineers. If you ever see an engineer trying to street lights, I'd go and ask to get a freebie. Not sure if that's a full, full brightness or not. It does light up, it's good. That works for a photo cell. I did kind of bodge job the connections to make it bypass the um, the connections. All I did is remove the white wire, um, what's normally on the photo cell adapter. And put it straight onto the um, terminal where the plus go, where the, the the live wire goes in, and disconnected the photo cell live and neutral, so it's not connected up, and it works without the photo cell. Now I'll show you it discharging. So all I did is bodge the connection onto it. Um, get these ones and just put a regular free plug on and they will work. Um if you have a photo cell be more interesting I forgot to ask the man for a photo cell but I didn't really don't really need one but now I'll just buy one off of eBay quite cheaply and I'm gonna have a look. It is fully functioning.
I got it as a freebie, it was quite good. Quickly mention where this was, this was on the intersection with um, um, Dorka and Cecil Street intersection. This is where it was, this lamp originally. But it's a nice lamp anyway. I've had this running for a few minutes now in my kitchen here to test if it works right. Um, if you know what you're doing, you can bypass the circuit for the photo source supposed to go in there. And it did work when I bypassed it. Um, but the way I do get proper, you can see something with the lantern quite a bit. Um, when I do get a proper photo cell for it, I will actually rewire the photo cell. Um, get it working. It's high pressure sodium, it's quite bright actually looking at it. But I'm going to shut it off and the, and the art tube will glow. No. Um, look at this, I'm going to turn it off, I'm filming. You'll see the art tube glow when I turn it off. Mum. Look. I'm filming, so look at this. I'll tell you the art tube will glow. Look at this, I'm filming, I'm going to film this actually on the sun. If I try to turn it off. What's the art tube? Look at that. Yes, nice. That's the art tube glowing. I'll put it in your room now. Yeah, I'll put it away. But that lamp, um, I turn the light off it. there. Um, this lamp was, um, was a freebie from the engineers. I will be replacing all the, um, roast, uh, Sylvania lamps like this on our street. Not our street, in, um... Yeah, Cecil Street. Cecil Street. Yeah, still close to us, though. S150C. Uh, S5150 is this is this a uh, volt of watts and the C means type C photo cell. The Savania model. Replace that with an S HP 150 watt. Customer service. It's still got customer service for Savania. Have a number on that as well. Might give Savania a ring one day and ask themselves to do the bolts for these. We've got to be doing replacement bolts, but I don't think they make the fix of the copy room replacements. Bear in mind what it looks like on the, the cover. I'll show the cover under the cover. Go big, I'll push these clips. No, I should not end the video, no, I'm going out. Look what I've done. Cover comes off. Oops. You've got your. I'm not sure what this is, I think this is the igniter, I'm not really sure. There's your capacitor there. Your power input. Your photo cell. I will connect that back up again. I cut it off and stripped it. I will co connect that back up again with a terminal block when I get a photo photo cell for it. All I did is disconnect those wires, get it straight out, straight into the live. But didn't we go in? Popped on plenty of properly in a minute. Um, and then and then it worked. Um, it, it was test uh, inspected. I don't know when I was inspected to say, but this fixture is really all original. There's no mod. The only thing I had to do is clear out a, a couple of ant nests in this thing. Twenty sixteen, it was take, it was installed, uh, made, so it wasn't really that. Re I saw twenty sixteen when I see it. Hmm. I don't mind playing a trick on me. I did see twenty sixteen on this, didn't I? Yeah, there we go. December 2016. So it's only been up, mate. It's only been around for seven years, and it's now replaced. It's because of things going to LED now. Like we've had got the LED. I don't think it's glowing, is it? Yeah, if my, if my mum was out of the way there. Um, it's an LED street light. One of these used to be out there recently, but it had a problem though, because the bulb kept conking out, so... But these lamps are very good lamps. It's very he it's not like it's not that heavy, but it is kind of weighty. So I'm going to end the video, kick this wire back up, and then I'm going to put the, put the cover back on, and I'm going to go back to shops.